Welcome to my next time tutorial. We're going to learn how to make props that spawn. We're going to make a grenade that shoots out of a cannon and does damage around it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a grenade really quick and then we will get started. Okay, so we have our grenade. It's very simple. It's nothing special. Now, if you're doing this with a prop physics, prop dynamic, whatever, it'll work fine. But I'm making mine a uh, funk fizz box. We're going to name this Nade. Simple, down to the point. Set our strength to. We want it to explode. Set to 100. Material type, make this as metal if you're doing this. No one wants it to be like stupid. So, now that we have this done, we have to go to our trigger, make a push, it's gonna shoot it. And then trigger, control T, trigger, push, and then under flags you want physics objects, speed of push, 20,000, should do it. And now Take the grenade and we place it inside the box. Now we're going to add an explosion to it. So you go to NV explosion. Now here's the thing. Parent to the grenade. Magnitude 150. Okay. So now go ahead and put this basically right inside of the grenade. And name it. Nade underscore exp for explosion <coughs> and if you want you can leave a smoke trail behind it <coughs> which I will do with envy steam really simple to use you just point the angle that you want parent it name nade steam then speed emission rate blah 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 I'm just going to leave mine default for that and just change my color to a smoky. So, we set this on the back now. And now here is the actual spawning process. Create a new entity. Make it a point underscore template. And we're going to name this nade temp. And under template 1 we want the physical grenade under template 2 we want the steam and under template 3 we want the explosion now whatever is under template will not spawn with the map it needs to be spawned we want preserve entity names on so keep that checked so now we're going to create a logic case what this is going to do this is going to be our simple direct basically for the fire we're going to make this nade case. In case 1, name fire. Case 2, name explode. Or exp. Go to outputs, add. On case 1, point template, force spawn. Now this will spawn it. And then, on add new, on case 1, the steam, turn on. And that's it for that. And then for the explode, all we need to do is add on case 2, explosion, explode. Now let's put add on case 2. We want this to break at point 
zero two, so it'll break itself. Now what this does is now whenever a parent dies, it will take all of its children with it. So keep that in mind while doing this that if you blow up one of the parents, it will take all of its children with it. So let's say the nade blows up, it will take every it'll take the steam with it and stuff. So make sure you do know that that will happen. So now we're going to make a quick little button here to actually fire inputs on the command. We're going to have two buttons. One to fire it, one to make it explode. So create the one as funk button outputs on pressed and then you select your case value and then you want in value fire and that's it that'll make it fire then we go to our other button and outputs on pressed in value explode that's it that's how you make it for spawn. So I'm going to load this up in Counter Strike and then you can see what it's actually like. And now we're in Counter Strike and it spawns it, has the smoke behind it, and if you click the second button, it will explode. Boom. And it works just how we programmed it to. No huff, no fuss simple spawning of props hope you enjoyed this